The latest Zondo Commission report recommends charging former President Jacob Zuma, Minister Gwede Mantasha and former Minister Nomvula Mukanyane for directly benefiting for, from their alleged dodgy dealings with Bosasa. So what's the political fallout been from this? Pulile Shwiti Jones is tracking reaction for us and he joins us now live. Good morning to you, Pule. Uh, as far as you know, has anyone uh, been notified of being hauled before the ANC's disciplinary committee? Well, very good morning, and I can hope you understand that yesterday the ANC chairperson, Gwede Mantashe, held a briefing to say that he hadn't received a letter from the integrity committee of the organization, meaning that he wouldn't be stepping aside, saying that he had complied with everything that was requested from the commission as he was there four times. He goes then to say that again, the commission, the commission was trying to make um, facts out of assumptions and therefore he feels as though, as though it erred and therefore the, the technical processes of it have to be taken upon review and that is moved from there. But he says that he will be supporting the, the parties, which is the ANC's process of looking into the report. But he's not the only one. You understand that the ANC member of parliament as well, Mr. Uh, Frederick Frolic, has also said that he will be going into consulting with his legal team regarding how he's been implicated. Um, we also know that Nombulam Konyani as well is currently um, you know, consulting with a legal team who she, she is a ANC senior um, uh, within the organization as well. So these are the updates and the developments that we're getting thus far. And according to the report that's been released, it is actually recommended that some of them be investigated, um, such as Mr. Mantashe as well, for possible corruption. What does the mm -hmm. recommendation of the Zondo report hold in terms of weight when making referrals to the NPA? Well, what we understand is that now what happens when we spoke to the NPA yesterday, they said that they had been uh, going through the report with their team to try and see how the investigations may unfold further. Remember that there were numerous arrests which were made in link to some of the possible corruption that had been going on within the department. And of course, for Sasa, where we saw the arrest of the likes of Mr. Vincent Smith and of course, Angela Greedy and others as well, which included Mr. Lyndon T. But the thing is now, the the investigations as well will also look into some of the paper trail that we have seen as well, where we do understand that before there were meetings which were facilitated uh, by Mr. Frolic, who is the uh, member of parliament and ANC member, to have um, Mr. Vincent Smith, of course, who was the former member of parliament, to meet with some of the process officials to ensure that they could get contracts at the Department of Correctional Services and to allow for their businesses to continue. And what we understand is that this amount turned to about two billion in um, business, which they received from government then. And of course, what we also understand from the report is that Bosasa spent about 75 million in terms of bribing some of these officials. Now, this was a tactic to ensure that business could continue by influencing some of the high profile political players within the ANC, official bearers, and of course, government leaders to also ensure that there were no arrests that were made. Now, Anika, when you speak about arrests, the report also highlights at some point how Dudumi and he had, of course, met Angela Agriti at the Sheraton Hotel in Pretoria, where she then showed him a docket, which was from the Hawks, to say that she would hide and, uh, and, and block the investigations which were looking into possible corruption into Bosasa, which of course did happen where it delayed the, um, that, that process of accountability and holding officials from Bosasa, um, having them arrested. So that's what the landscape scale of the report is looking into. And the NPA is quite confident that they are on point in terms of ensuring that there will be um, allowing for accountability to take place and where arrests are possible, they will make sure that happens.